I gotta take a picture of this guy. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah, filming about this. Yeah, post it. I know it sounds crazy, but whenever we try to take the picture of the house, the cameras would malfunction. I couldn't understand it at all. And there was really no explanation for it except for something paranormal. It's kind of like when you look at your phone and you can see like, okay, in the corner of your eye, preferable, my phone has 25% battery, whatever. Um, maybe two or three minutes have passed by and our phones are at 13% battery. Our phones, like the battery was dropping quickly, way, way quicker than possible. Like, it's, it's kind of like, I wasn't checking every five seconds to see my battery, but I could tell that my battery was dropping way faster than normal, any, any kind of normal. What? I don't know what's wrong with it. I just got this camera. You see, you guys, the house doesn't want us to take a picture of it. I kind of felt like the house definitely didn't want its picture taken. It didn't want people to see what was going on. Back to the car, these guys are idiots. I don't know what they're trying to prove. Rachel and I said, it's just too creepy. Brian said, I didn't come out here to do nothing. I am gonna check out what's going on. And Evan was kind of, I'm gonna tag along with him. As we were considering going into the house, the doors opened. It creaks so hard. You would have thought that that someone was pulling the door open after like 80 years of being closed. I was kind of like, I can't believe I'm seeing this. It felt like the house wanted us to come in. I felt that that feeling in my stomach that it was it was a two-sided thing. There was that part of me that was like, okay, we're here. I'm ready to do this. And there's always that part of me, maybe I should have listened to Brittany. I kind of just felt it, that something's going on. So, something's not right in this house. We already saw someone in the window. Maybe we shouldn't go in this house. But that crazy, fun side of me was like, no, we have to go in the house. The closer you walked to the house, the more it felt like the house was aware of you. I had the little voice in my head going, I should not be doing this, but I ignored it. I kind of just felt like my heart pumping faster. My hair standing up. I could feel something was about to happen. It was going to be major.